in there. <laughs> hey, tonight has been amazing. You've been amazing. No, look who's talking. How many times did we kiss and make up? <laughs> I stopped counting. All I know is that I love you. And 50 years from now, I'll still be showing you how much I love you. You know, I've been thinking about what you said before, and and maybe you're right. Maybe maybe we should wait to be together until after Fox dies. Hey, don't second guess yourself, okay? We belong together, and waiting to tell Fox the truth about us is what complicated things in the first place. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But I just can't lie to myself anymore. I have to follow my heart, and I love you. And and I don't believe that you had sex with Charity, and I don't think you tried to hit Fox with your car and. I just have to tell him that I can't be with him anymore because I want to be with you. Hello. Okay. It's me. Hey, hey. Well, why aren't you asleep? Is something wrong? Yeah, something's wrong. I'm going stir crazy being stuck in this hospital. I'm sorry. Well, uh, try to go back to sleep, and I'll be there first thing in the morning. I'm not going to be here. I'm coming to see you. Well, I found the ways. <sighs> but I'm too late. Aunt Sheridan has him in bed. Nancy's determined to intrude on my intimate moments with Louise. I'll make sure she gets an eyeful. It's like heaven being in your arms. You sleepy yet? The cold is keeping me awake. Could you hold me just a little closer? Sure. Perfect. Picture perfect. Ethan, my firstborn son. You know, I have so much lost time to make up for. It's not your fault. Mom kept us both in the dark. She hid the truth from both of us. Ivy robbed me of a chance to be a father to my own son. My God, every time I think about it it, it, it makes me angry. I understand. I do. And if I had a son, I didn't know it. And the mother deliberately kept me from being a father to the child. God, I don't know if I'd ever get over it. God, help me. I know I've hurt Ethan by not telling them the truth that little Ethan is his son, but I can't do it. Not until I know for sure that I've helped my brother stay out of prison for crimes they didn't even commit. Damn that blackmailer for making me choose between my brother's future and my future with the man that I love. Teresa, hey. What... Hi. What's wrong? Uh, nothing's wrong. Uh, just, you know, going upstairs to say goodnight to the children. Teresa, they're, they're sound asleep. Good. That's good. Okay, then I'm um, just gonna turn to myself. Teresa, right. wait. I don't know if you're hurt or not, but your plan to help Luis hide out, well, it didn't work, because he was arrested over the crane apartment that you set him up in. So he's, he's back in police custody? No, he managed to escape with the help of an accomplice. Oh. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? No, no, I, uh, I've been actually at the hospital with Jared this evening. Um, as for Luis using the crane apartment... Teresa, um, Fancy found out where Luis was and she went to bring him in. And it was, it was only during the confusion of Dad's arrival that Luis got away. I see. Just do me a favor. If you speak to Luis, just tell him to turn himself in. Look, we both know that you've got a job to do, Chief. You're damn right I do. And if I find out that you're hiding anything, I'll arrest you for aiding and abetting a fugitive. Now, do I make myself clear? Yes. Good. I'm going to go check on Fancy. Good night. No, 
No, actually, we got to talk about another little crime that you're involved in. Marrying Jared instead of me. to the sleep. I want to make sure that Kay and Miguel still plan to be a couple. I thought I heard the phone ring. Who could Kay be talking to at this hour? Hey, you heard me, Kay. I'm checking out and I'm coming home to you. Oh. Fox. Oh, God. He hung up. What happened? Well, he's checking himself out of the hospital and he's coming here. Oh, maybe that's good. I mean, if he feels well enough to check out of the hospital, then he'll be well enough to hear that you and me are together. Well, I just hope he's up to knowing the truth because I, I can't pretend that he's the man for me anymore. Hey, when he gets here, just tell him that you're going to be with me. And deep down, he won't be surprised. He knew this would happen, okay? Oh, I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen if Sheridan got Luis alone long enough to pull out all the stops. God, I bet she used the hold me till I fall asleep routine to get Luis in bed. And now I, I bet she's pretending to be cold so Luis will warm her up. Only... snuggled up to her the way he is, Luis will be the one to get hot first. Damn you for being sneaky and Fish, Aunt Sheridan. Getting any warmer? The body sure does give off a lot of heat. Have sleepy thoughts, okay? I feel guilty thinking about sleep when you're worried sick about the charges against you. Being accused of raping Fancy and killing Ray. Someone is definitely setting you up, and I'm going to help prove that you're innocent. Oh, Sheridan, I appreciate you being in my corner, but I can't have you sacrificing your life with Chris and with James to help me, okay? It's my choice. Even with the weight of the world on your shoulders, you're worried about me and my life more than your own. That's what makes you such a special man. You horrible, man-stealing monster! You had Louise and you let him go! You can't have him back! It's not fair! Any luck gaining access into Alistair's camera surveillance system to locate Louise? Uh, it depends on what you mean by luck. Well, why don't you just answer the question? Do you know where Louise is hiding? I will not discuss Jared with you. Yes, you are. Come on. I would really just like to get back to bed, Ethan. Uh, well, Teresa, come on. We're going to have a drink, and we are going to talk. Hmm. You going to try to get me drunk so I'll sleep with you? I don't need to get you drunk. Uh, wow. It's not really a nice thing to say to another man's fiance, is it? Yeah. Whatever. You didn't decide to marry Jared tonight, did you? Which is a good thing, Teresa, because it gives me more time to help your brother so you don't have to marry Jared. You know, Ethan, another day or two is not going to make a difference. I'm going to marry Jared, and that is it. Are you sure you don't know where Luis is? Do you? No, I don't. Last time I saw him, he was at Crane. Then he was going to the Crane executive apartment. Now he's back on the run. With the help of an accomplice. Yeah, and I wonder who that is. Fancy? No, it's not Fancy, because Fancy and Sam went to go track him down. Uh, one of Luis's cop friends, then? Could be. But you know, if Luis knew that he was the reason that you were being forced to marry Jared, I bet you he'd turn himself right in. You know, my brother being back in jail doesn't help you prove that he's innocent. It would be one less thing to worry about. 
Last thing I heard, Luis was wanted dead or alive, Teresa. Uh, th this is actually not getting us anywhere, Ethan. I'm just gonna go upstairs, say goodnight to the children. Teresa, <clears throat> come here. I told you. They're fine. Okay. I... I just wanna see them, you know? They're... They're my children. I was hoping that you would just want to stay here with me, maybe. No, not a good idea. Why? Are you afraid of what would happen? Because you want me as much as I want you right now? You know what? I am going to marry Jared to keep my brothers out of prison. Teresa, what does one have to do with the other? Good night. No, 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 no. I want to know the connection here. How come you can't marry me and help your brothers, too? I just, I can't. I just can't. You can't. Why? Why? You just need to accept that this is how things are. Accept okay? it. Have you accepted the fact that you're you're going to spend the rest of your life with a guy that you don't even love? You know what? I'm okay, Ethan, knowing that I held my family when they need me most. My mother, she would die if my brothers were sent to prison. And after all the sacrifices Luis made for us, I owe him, Ethan. I get that, I understand that, but do you really want to sacrifice your own happiness for your brothers? I can, and I'm going to. And it is up to me to make sure that my brothers have every happiness that would have been mine, and you are not going to stop me. Answer the question. Do you know where Luis is? Well... How are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine, Mother. Uh, we've been trying to access Grandfather's video surveillance system to see if it shows where Luis could be hiding out. Oh, any, any luck? Mm, no, not yet. Uh, I, I told Chief Bennett that I don't know where Luis is or who helped him get away. Fancy's lying. She knows Sheridan helped Luis. Chief Bennett thinks I'm hiding something. I see. You and Luis couldn't keep your distance from each other while you were in training. And I have a hard time believing now should be any difference. Especially when the stakes are really high. Well, Sam does have a point. Uh, I'm about to drift off. Mm. I was sleepy, but... Here with you, like this. I can't help but think about our past together. We're so happy. So happy and so in love. No puedo olvidar la noche que te vi. was very special. So far, so good. Even better if Fancy's watching me win back the lease. still sleeping. If she knew her half-brother was about to lose Kay, things would get very ugly very quickly around here. Fox is a big boy. He'll get over it. And Miguel is with Kay, not Charity. Which means the dark side will survive to sow a little bit more evil around from time to time. <laughs> Oh, well, Fox didn't waste any time getting here. I'm dreading this. How do I tell my dying husband that I'm leaving him to be with you? <sighs> what do you want to do? You want me to tell him? No, I don't want you to tell him. I'll do it. I'm going to this time, I promise. It's just going to be really hard. You'll be fine, okay? And I'll be in the closet just to make sure you know I'm here. Okay. All right.
I'm home. Hey, you. Oh. Hey, you shouldn't have left the hospital. You don't look so good. Yeah, the treatments Dr. Ross was giving me. But I feel better just being here with you already. Well, come in and, and sit down. You don't want to exert yourself, Gay. Whoa. You were so good to me. You won't think so in a few minutes. God, I missed you. Mm -hmm. Ross doesn't know it yet, but this is the end of his marriage. so quiet. Oh, uh, honey, you need to conserve your strength, okay? Well, I was feeling pretty puny at the hospital, but being back with my wife, well, I kind of feel like a new man. Fox, wait. I have to tell you something, and I should have told you a long time ago. Finally. Uh-oh. He's gonna dump me for Miguel. Sam has reason to be suspicious of you, Fancy. Although I think he's wrong to be. You're absolutely positive you don't know where Luis is. Why doesn't Fancy want Sam to see that Luis is with Sheridan at the Crane Cabin? <laughs> How could I know unless I accessed Grandfather's surveillance system? Easy. You could have helped Luis escape at the apartment after arranging someone to take him away. I didn't do what you're suggesting. I swear. Okay. But if you're lying, there's no badge for you in the future. I realize that. Sam, just stop it. You haven't found Louise and you're frustrated and you're taking it out on fancy. My daughter wouldn't do anything to jeopardize her future. Well, I hope not. I can't bend the rules for her any more than I can bend them for Louise once he's caught. And believe me, he's gonna get caught. Mother and I know that you'll close in on Luis eventually. Don't we, Mother? Yes. Yes, of course. Oh! Oh! oh. Thank you, Sam. No problem. Well, I, I sure hope you didn't lose anything important. No, no. I, I just, you know, I was trying to use different passwords to access Grandfather's files, like Ethan suggested. Good. Well, uh, keep it up, and... Uh... I'm going to go check in with the station. Okay. Thank you for keeping me out of trouble. Chief Bennett walked in so quickly before I couldn't turn off the computer without looking suspicious. Well, you're welcome, but I'm... I'm not sure. Sam believes you're being 100% honest. After all, you did let Luis escape the apartment. Well, of course I did. I wanted him free to prove he's innocent. Only what good did it do? Sheridan dragged him off to seduce him. Damn her! Straight to hell! Thanks for staying with me. Being in your arms always gives me such a sense of peace and well-being. You know, this is the way it should have always been. Drifting off to sleep in each other's arms every night. Well, Sheridan, you can't say things like that. Being here in bed with you, it's making me feel like I'm betraying Fancy. Oh, don't be silly. We haven't done anything wrong. Well, we kissed. More than once. As Friends? Friends? Yeah, I'm better with you like this. It's not good. What are you afraid of? That we share one innocent goodnight kiss that erupts into uncontrollable passion? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Relax. Okay. See?
God's sake. We finally have a chance to be together. We finally have a chance to be the family we've always wanted to be with Jane, Lily. Enough, and... just, just, I want you to stop hey, this right you've now. Hey, you've been begging me for years to let go of Gwen so that we could be together. Right? And now we can be. That's right. Now we can be together. Our prayers have been answered. We can be together. Because I'm about to get a divorce. I'm about to be a free man. And you want to let this blackmailer call the shots? I don't think so. We can't let this opportunity to be together just disappear. We can't do it. We have to do it. I'm going to do what the blackmailer wants. The... I'm going to marry Jared. And that is it. This blackmailer, what does he have on you? What is this? Look, you need to let it go. You need to just let no. it go and let me be free no. to marry Jared. He no. can help my brothers. How does not being with me help your brothers? I don't get it at all. I'm not telling you. Tell me, what does this blackmailer have on you? Come on. What secret could you possibly be keeping from me that would make you want to sacrifice a life with me and marry Jared? Unless... Unless Jared's the blackmailer, No, Teresa. he's not. No, Jared How is not. He... he is innocent in all this, okay? He, he, he was trying to help me, and he got shot, and he almost died. Yes, I know it. this, but that doesn't mean you have to marry him, Teresa. That's not why I'm marrying him, and you know that. Let's be realistic here. You have a history of not making the best decisions in the world, Teresa. And if you decide to marry Jared because someone's blackmailing you to do it, that could possibly be the worst decision of your life. Now, for the love of God, will you tell me what the blackmailer has on you, please? I can't. Just to... Teresa, you got... I get that Sheridan wants Luis back. Why is he letting her kiss him like that? Oh, honey, I thought Luis loved me. Oh, he does, Fancy, he does. It's just Sheridan's using her feminine wiles, and Luis being a man is too blind to see it. Well, I see it. And I can't take it anymore. Oh. See, honey, wait, I... Where'd Fancy go? I really can't say. Mm. Oh, Sheridan. We can't keep what? doing this. What? No, you're with Chris, and I'm with Fancy, okay? Is it really that cut and dry? Doesn't the fact that we keep ending up together tell you that we belong together? No, not necessarily. Look, I appreciate that you're helping me try and get free and all, but, it, you know, if payback means that I have to betray Fancy, then I'm out. Luis. Oh. Luis! Damn it! <sighs> oh. Well, hello! <laughs> You've had quite a nap, Pandora. Oh, oh, sweet pea. We've got a ways to go till tomorrow. Are you? Well... We'll have a snack then. I have a secret stash of goodies over here for Miguel. He has such a voracious appetite. He's always hungry. How he eats what he eats and doesn't weigh a ton, I shall never know. What? Oh, oh, that. Um... Forget you ever saw that, Endora. That jar and its contents are off limits. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. Good. Uh, under no circumstances are you to open that jar. Yeah. Because releasing its contents would cause a calamity of catastrophic proportions. Out with it, Kay. Tell Fox for leaving him to be a family with me and Maria. Fox, I love you. I really do. And I, I love you too. I mean, you're the most loving, caring wife a husband could ever ask for. Yeah, about that. I'm, I'm being your Ooh, wife. I... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm feeling woozy. I need to lay down. Yeah, whatever makes you comfortable. Uh, look, I, I love you. I really do. And I want you to live for a really long time. <sighs> I just... Oh, my God. Fox. You 
your hair. <sighs> yeah. It's the treatment. It's making it fall out. I wanted to tell you about it before you saw it, but I guess it's too late for that now. I guess so. Don't lose your nerve, Carrie. Don't lose your nerve. Come on, Kay. Why is it so quiet out there? I'm so sorry this is happening to you. Gosh, the side effects of those treatments are horrible. Yeah, but at least the treatments are going to give me more time with you and Maria. And you know what? We're going to be a big happy family until the end. I swear I'd tell Fox I'm leaving him for Miguel, but... No way will Kay leave me now. Look, my body might be giving up on me, but my love for you is stronger than it's ever been. You have no idea what it means to me to be lying here with you. The truth is, kiddo, I could die tonight, and I'd be happy, knowing that I was here with my devoted wife. Making Kay have doubts about leaving him. Oh, for Hades' sake, Kay. Give the man a toupee and some Viagra and dump him, dump him for Miguel. Endora, no, 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 d d d don't open that jar. Inferno. This could change everything. Um, you know, I, I could help you look for Fancy. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, just tell Fancy to get her priorities straight. Okay, her duty is to help find Luis and report his whereabouts to me. Now, if she interferes with his capture, then I'll have no choice but to end her career in law enforcement. God, really, Sam? Threatening Fancy to get back at me. It's really cruel. <laughs> How you manage to make everything about you never ceases to amaze me. You know, that's one of the many reasons we're not together right now. Oh, that is not true. That is not true. I always put you first. I'm not going to get into this with you right now because we're finished. Remember? Yes, I know. I know. But, you know... I've learned from my mistakes, Sam. I really have. And we could try again, and things could be different. My God! My wife is dead because of you, and you think that I should forgive and forget? Well, you could try. You know, for Ethan's sake, he's worried about you. He's worried that... He has nothing to worry about. I'm still mourning over Grace, but one day, I'm going to find love again. Okay. I'll wait. Love with an honest, decent, caring woman who is nothing like you at all. All right, Sam, you know what? I've had it. And if you walk out on me, I will kill myself. Huh? Ivy, don't be ridiculous. Ridiculous? I'm not being ridiculous. I would rather be dead than live with you hating me. Calm down. Calm down? Sam, how can I be calm when you will not? Give me one more chance! Fancy and Luis's situation has upset you more than you realized. Oh. Put the letter opener down and let's talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, Sham. I don't want to talk about Fancy. I don't want to talk about Ethan. I love you and I need you to love me. Give me the letter opener, okay? And let's talk. No. No, because you are just trying to trick me. If you love me, okay, then you're going to have to trust me. Give me the letter opener.
Here. Maybe we can both use something to help us sleep. Hot chocolate was a bust. Thanks. Yeah. Look, um, about what happened earlier. Forget about I'm, it. I'm not as strong as you are, Louise. I miss Chris like you miss Fancy, and without him here to comfort Listen, me... Listen, I know that this is a difficult situation. I just don't think that that's any excuse for us to be unfaithful to no. the people that we love, okay? You, you're right. Good. But what if you can't prove that you didn't rape Fancy or kill Ray? What if we have to be on the run for the rest of our lives? What happens between us then? Teresa, you can't run away from this. Teresa, listen, I'm not going to let you be blackmailed into marrying Jared, all right? You don't have a choice. Yeah, I have a choice, and you're not leaving this room until you tell me what you've been hiding from. All right, I'm calling security. No, no, you're not. You're not no. calling security. You're going to tell me what is going on. What does he have on No, no, I'm not going to tell Teresa, tell me what's going on. You know what, Ethan? It, it's you. It's you. It's me. What, what, what do you mean it's me? The blackmailer told me to stay away from you because he wants you all to himself. Come on. Come on, come on. All right, now, you've had your fun. Flitting about, just get back in this damn job. Oh, bloody hell. I'm not put you down. <laughs> that was happiness. I've been holding it hostage for generations, and, and, and now you've let it go, Endora, after I, I, I asked you not to open the jar. <sighs> yes. That's what Alexander the Great said when I found him in bed with what's her name? Oh, who knows what boondoggle this burst of bliss will cause. Hey, don't cry, all right? Some impotent balding and I'm gonna die. I'm just glad that I'm here with you. You know what, I'm gonna get a bottle of champagne. I feel like celebrating coming home to my beautiful wife. You think you should be drinking in your condition? No, but I don't care. I want to make the most of the time I have left with you. Shedding. So what? Well, what are you talking about? Fluffy shedding. No, that's Fox's hair. He's losing it from the treatment. My God, as if being impotent wasn't bad enough. Okay, you promised me you'd tell him. Yeah, well, I can't leave him now. He's in worse shape than ever. You have to leave him, okay? Because you love me. Oh my God. And staying with him out of pity isn't right. I've been cheating on my dying husband. What kind of a monster am I? Listen to me. You're not a monster. Okay, stay away from me. I know it's hard to consider, but it could happen. What if you can't prove that you're innocent? What if we have to be on the run for the rest of our lives? At what point do we stop being faithful to Chris and Fancy? 
and start being true to ourselves. Louise, you're under arrest. What do you mean? The blackmailer wants me. It's just like I said, he threatened me and my whole family if I don't stay away from you. Is the blackmailer gay or what? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess he's gay. I mean, there, there was a second when I thought that he was a sheep. I, I don't I don't believe what I'm hearing here, it's Teresa. Just, it's weird. I know it's It is weird. weird, but the bottom line, everything you've done, you've done for me. The craziest part about this whole thing is that I don't think I've ever loved you more than I love you right now. So you need to tell me what is going on. What is your secret? Once Louis starts to think about it, he will never forgive you. I wish I'd never been born.